Hey everybody, Mary and the Barbarian here. We got a wonderful shave for you today. We got a lot going on today. Today we have an HCNC $15 gift card giveaway. We have a giveaway announcement. The winner of the Shave Bowl dish with the Ariana and Evans, you know, the hashtag Green Cows one. No Name Bear, he won that. Little doo -doo -doo. should be there. And today we are using Havana Breeze Julio's Reserve, HCNC. Sorry, I'm reading it backwards. It's a long name, and I, I would have messed it up if I didn't try to read it. We did bloom it a little. We're using our El Druida with whatever badger he puts on there. I like it. Some type of dyed burl green with like briar wood, I think, if I remember correctly. We're going to get a lot of that water out. I'm not going to load from the tub. We're going to face lather. So this is going to be a longer than usual video, people. We're going to put up the base ingredients for HCNC. And then we're going to put up the scent notes. But I'm just going to tell you flat out what it smells like, people. This smells like walking into a cigar shop, like the humidor in a cigar shop. Oh, it's wonderful. If you like the smell of cigars, not burning cigars, but cigars, the tobacco, you will like it. Let's let the, wet the face a little. <coughs> Excuse me. Allergies, man. Changing weather always gets to me. One of those things. Even while I'm taking allergy meds. Can't be helped. When allergies are kicking, trust me, I wish... I didn't sound so awful. We're gonna, you know, I gotta rinse that tub. I can't leave the lather just sitting on top, so. Alright, guys, get to the shave. We have loaded it up. Let's just start painting it in. We're gonna straight razor shave today. We can still see the cut right there. Where we cut ourselves with the it couldn't have been a manlier cut either with the Lady Gillette. Man, this is a kicking scent. I mean, I will tell you, HCNC. Hopefully, that gets to me. Pete is sending me a soap that's supposed to release like this weekend. I'm excited about that. And y'all know me, not the best at lathering with the boar. Not boar, sorry, badger. But if we're going to face lather, the only other brush I thought would have matched this better had to be a uh, my Kent Designs, the Leaf Lads. It was meant for tobacco. It's kind of cigarish, a little in my opinion. I don't remember if that's exactly what we were going for. But that's, that's the feel we got from it. Or at least I got from it. DK has one. I know he still uses it. I haven't seen him. I don't know if Carlitos has one. <coughs> mm. You don't need a lot of HC and C. I did load it heavily though. Hopefully, I will have kicked David Gonzalez's ass. It will be 3-0 in the BBS Live Fantasy Football League. It's only an eight-man league. Eight-man leagues are a little harder to uh, manage. You're like, man, you should have all the good players you want, but the thing is you have so many good players, it's hard to know which player to bench and which player to start when you're in a 10 or 12 man league you have starters but like some of my starters didn't perform nearly as well as my bench so but we still won i'm pretty sure of it i'm gonna use the beautiful ale eight eights full hollow spanish point canadian made from a canadian rasp Man, this is a kicking set. It's really nice. I'm thinking I'm gonna 
revisit the Ninja Turtles with the synthetic brush and possibly head lather with it and do a head shave. You know what show I was thinking about today I haven't seen in a while? No, that wasn't the show. That wasn't the show. I'd rather be shaving. That was the show. I know. Douglas and Matt Pisarsic. We, we should put it like on Instagram, I'll send them messages. We need another episode of I'd Lather Be Shaving. That was fun. I know they always got projects going on and stuff, but come on guys. Make some time. It was, it was good entertainment. And we learned a lot. History of razors, different types of razors, how to tell the difference, the way, you know, they would apply splash and balm if you're using both. Like, if you're using both, you should apply splash and then balm. Supposedly, the balm will help the splash scent hang around. Oh, yeah. Such a good scent, guys. I could have added so much more water because we're not blooping like we could. Man. Woo! See, look at it. It's stuck on the edge. And that's why I'm going to go wipe it on the towel. Get the lather off. My non-dominant hand. Heck yeah. It, it's not the best edge. I stropped it 125 times. I did dip this in the water just now. And I don't use any kind of stropping paste. I just don't have any. Mike Deckard sending the razors back, being honed. He honed some for me. I sent him some money to pay for shipping, but it wasn't enough. I'm going to send him some more as soon as I get paid this weekend. I'm sure he's thinking, oh, you don't need to, but he, he's getting more money. He's been more than helpful. And it's not about the fact that I'm making money because I'm not. It's about the fact that he needs to be compensated for what he did and how he helped me out. Like he honed up some razors and I needed it because razors were needed new edges. And David Gonzalez, you suck. I love you, but you know, you're I'll get on it right now type thing. And you know, six months later, you'll do it. Just, I'm not mad at you. You know, I got love for you. Just saying. I'd like to even see you shave with the Drew Dick. It's not even about getting that honed at this point. David, if you're watching, it's I want to see you shave with it. It's not a common razor I see you shave with. First of all, it's not a common razor, but I don't see you shave with Camasauris or Western Camasauris or fixed blade straight razors. However you want to classify that razor. So just be fun to see you get to use it. That's all. Not to mention I got a badass boker that I sent him. I'd like to have honed up and fixed. Because I, I messed up the edge when I was trying to polish it up.
grabs a little toothy. Or toggy shell, I say. I will finish up Final Pass with a DE. Like, we'll clean the neck up with it. And you know, I'm not talking super fast, guys. And just a little pro tip. When you're watching videos, if you want it to go a little faster, go up to the settings icon and put it on two times. You can watch the entire video, hear what's being said, and take like half the time. Or you can watch it at two times and watch to the point that you got all the information you want. And there you go. Man, still kicking scent, guys. Digging it, digging it, digging it. I'm not even going to try to make this look pretty. We're just going to finish it up. We've been almost 12 minutes in right now. Oh, Matt Fox told me in the comments of uh, my Dr. Squatch Henson that the RK stainless that come with it are specifically engineered for a Henson, which that's kind of cool. I mean, they're specifically engineered for the Henson, which means there's got to be specs. They're all a certain width, length, um, thickness, all that type of stuff, because thickness can vary DE to DE. So this is made probably to the specifications that work best with their tolerances. Now Douglas, his are, you know, made to his preferences and the way he wanted them done. But I don't know that his probably had as much go into it as Henson had going to theirs. It was just a little tuggy. I probably shouldn't even done the second pass with that one against the grain. But everything's feeling good. You know the drill. We're going to rinse up. We'll be right back. Hey, everybody. Barry and the Barbarian. We are back. I left the alum on the face. It's something I like to do and just let it sit there. It will dilute off as I add aftershave. So we're going to follow it up with Cavendish. It is a tobacco scent, but it's not like a vanilla tobacco you're used to with all these other like designer fragrances. And I say designer even if they're artisan made because I feel like they're designer inspired with vanilla in there and everything. This smells like Cavendish pipe tobacco, which, you know, just smells like the tobacco scent. No vanilla added in there. Nothing. To, ooh, great scent. Oh. And we got a good burn because that edge was a little... Little tuggy, guys. I'm sure y'all could tell when I was going against the grain here. Little on the tuggy side. That is my oldest edge. <laughs> and I've shaved with it like a SOB, but I strop it really well, and I've probably extended that edge further than it needs to go. Whew. PAA Cavendish, guys. Great scent, great soap. Pick it up, man. <laughs> if you like tobaccos, just that tobacco like rolled tobacco, pipe tobacco, pick it up. I recommend it. Um, same thing with, well, same thing with the uh, Julio's Reserve. And the ale, man. I love this ale. If you're ever looking for like a custom straight razor with a little bit of a character, because obviously the character comes that he still leaves some of the rasp and stuff behind. So it does have character, but it, it's, it's a good price. Um, I don't know what they're going for now, but $200 is what some, around what I paid for this. El Druida, man. Beautiful. That's his little logo on the bottom. I would say that his, his work is in the same vein as Riva brushes. And what makes me want to buy his brushes more than Riva 
is that's his logo. And Reba, you have some ugly, ugly ass coins. I hate to say it, but it is the truth. All right, guys, you know the drill. We need a thumbs up, a thumbs down, comment below, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet, and hit that noti bell for me, and we will catch you tomorrow for another shave. All right, guys, see you later.